Grammy and Emmy Award nominated Ramin Jawadi is the man behind the music in TV series like Game of Thrones, Westworld, and CBS's Person of Interest, along with blockbuster films like Iron Man, Clash of the Titans, and many more. Now he's embarking on a nationwide tour that's taking him out of the studio and onto the concert stage. Our Ben Tracy sat down with the composer in Los Angeles. You may not have heard his name, but you probably have heard his music. He composed the epic theme song for Game of Thrones. And the far more subdued start to each episode of HBO's new hit show, Westworld. that kind of dark, ominous yeah. tone to it. Yeah, so I think a, a main title always has to summarize uh, the overall mood of the show. It's solo piano, it represents the player piano, uh, but it, it has a, a dark tone, a seductive tone. The player piano has almost become a character in the show, in some sense. Absolutely, yeah, that's, and that's something I never anticipated before. I just thought that it might be some sort of background little uh, twist that we can put in, but then uh, people started picking up on that, and, and it became a, a very exciting thing. Every week, people would, would guess, of what, you know, what's the next song, or what, what could it be? The show's creators wanted to use modern music to juxtapose with the Old West setting. <laughs> Jawadi has composed stripped-down covers of songs such as Radiohead's No Surprises. You can hear it, can't you? Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun. Early night, Maeve. Feeling a bit out of sorts. Clementine can pick up the slack. And the Rolling Stones painted black. I basically memorized the melody at the time and then did a piano map and then I did a full arrangement of it and then I added all the orchestral parts and, um, and once that was approved, then we went in and recorded it with a real orchestra. Ramin Jawadi is now 42, but he was seduced by music early on. At what point did you know you had real musical talent? Well, according to my parents, um, they said when I was four years old, I walked up to the piano and just started playing melodies by memory. So they looked at each other and said, well, I think uh, we think we should give this boy some lessons. Wow, so you really had a knack for playing by ear, not having to read the sheet music. Absolutely, yeah, it's something picking up music by ear and, and reproducing it was always something that felt natural to me. As a teenager, he saw the film The Magnificent Seven and something clicked when he heard the score. When I turned to film off, that, that music still stuck in my head, and that, that had such an impact on me. Um, that's when I realized, you know, this is something I want to do when I grow up, and I want to write music like that. And that's exactly what he's done. Providing the rock and roll influence score for Iron Man. And the musical Clash for Clash of the Titans. What is it about scoring film and TV that interests you? I love how how much you can affect a uh, picture with music, the, the, the dramatic underscore uh, how, of how much uh, you can influence an audience and a viewer uh, with, with uh, music. His compositions now average more than 1.8 million plays each month on Spotify. That success is why Jawadi is about to embark on his own road show, taking the Game of Thrones music on tour playing arenas across the country with a live orchestra. Do you feel like you're making orchestral music more accessible to people that may not consume that at, say, Symphony Hall? Absolutely, and that's why it's actually very exciting that we're able to do this, because I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a crossover now. It's people that might enjoy a classical concert will come to this, but also people that might not necessarily go to a symphony orchestra will enjoy coming to this and just hearing their favorite themes. Just excited actually that I, I'm able to go out myself. I actually carved out my schedule for this so that I could really be close with the audience and with the fans and just see the reaction of, of how they feel with when this music is performed. 
odds are their reaction may be as epic as one of his musical creations. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. It would be so cool to see that live. Movie composers performing in concert may be a trend, actually. Hans Zimmer, music producer for the Batman films The Dark Knight, will be performing at the rock festival Coachella this spring. If you want to see Ramin Jawadi live, the concert tour kicks off February 20th in St. Paul, Minnesota. He does such an incredible job with those scores. I mean, I hear the Game of Thrones music and I... I feel Khaleesi's energy in the room. Well, you know? You know, it, I mean, he talks about how you know how much fun it is to do it. it they're so important to those series. That Absolutely, create such a, an atmosphere. Of, and in of, Westworld, the yeah. the covers are brilliant. I mean, you can listen to the covers of those old rock songs, you know, just on their own as people are you know, going we, to. You were saying that while 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 the piece was airing that that uh, you know everybody's trying to figure out what what, they what are, those songs yeah. are when they play. It's really it's become part of what makes that whole show part fun. of the fabric of the show, indeed. Well, you can go and see him on tour.